In this video, we'll balance the equation AgNO3 plus Na2CO3, silver nitrate plus sodium carbonate. Let's count the atoms up. We have one silver atom, and then we have this NO3. It's called a nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have an NO3 here, and we have an NO3 here. It stays together in the reaction, so we're going to call that just one thing, and that'll make the balancing a lot easier. We have two sodiums, and then CO3, that's a carbonate. Carbonate's another polyatomic ion. We'll just count it as one thing because we have one here and then one here. So we have one carbonate ion. On the product side, we have silvers two, one nitrate, sodium, we have one, and then we have one carbonate. So it looks like the silvers and the sodiums, those aren't balanced. We have two silvers here and one here. Let's fix those. We could put a two in front of the silver nitrate. This applies to everything. So we have one times two. That gives us two silvers. Those are balanced. And then the two applies to our one nitrate. So one nitrate times the two. That gives us two nitrates. Okay. Well, we could fix the nitrates next, and that might even fix the sodiums. We have two here and one here. If I put a two in front of the NaNO3, the sodium nitrate, one times two for the sodium. That does balance those. And then one nitrate times the two. That balances those, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting these polyatomic ions here as just one item, one group, that makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for silver nitrate plus sodium carbonate. Thanks for watching.